Hi guys, Ben here, 100M man. Just want to talk this morning about embracing life and the opportunities that come your way. And we had the builders in at home yesterday and they were talking about or asking what I did and it's interesting just listening to the language of people when they say or limit themselves based on their belief structures also based on the spoken limitation just in the linguistic sense and I asked one of them why they didn't do what they wanted to do and it was interesting the little mini coaching session that we had was about embracing life and doing what you truly want to do and it does baffle me slightly and I think it's because of social culturing where people put a lifestyle what they want to achieve where they want to live so far out of their reach that they kind of give up looking to get it and it does baffle me slightly because for me in my world I wouldn't put myself consciously into a situation and I have before where consciously right now I would not put myself in a situation where I wouldn't want to be despite how others may feel about that and of course it alienates some people and it alienates certain situations and social environments and I'm not all that sure that it's a bad thing and the conversation went on and he spoke very clearly about all of the things that he didn't want or wouldn't want to do that or definitely not that and when I turned around and said well what do you want to do you could see that there was a slight amount of confusion in his mind in that internal language and those conversations that he was having with himself it can be tricky for some that aren't or haven't taken that mindset shift over to the other side where you're thinking about what you want as opposed to what you don't and what you don't want sometimes can actually be a good spur to get down on paper and make the shift for me in my world if I didn't want something didn't want to be or have then I just wouldn't do and some people call it laziness some people call it an element of arrogance some people call it another label and to me it doesn't really matter why wouldn't you as I said yesterday, design a destiny based around what you want. Why wouldn't you be living life how you want? Why wouldn't you? Why would you be living to service, ultimately, another man or woman's dream? I'm not entirely convinced. I'm not talking about a career choice or the choice to do a certain job. I'm talking about life as a whole, all of the external social activities that you do, have you become accustomed to certain habitual movements, are you a creature of habit, we all like routine. That's a natural instinct. We like routine. We like following process because it's familiar. And there's no fear. There's no fear of the unknown. But are those fears res 
restricting and stopping us from growth and development? Are those fears holding us back because of the fear of failure? Here's an interesting concept. Do you fear failure or fear success? And that actually, I think, had a greater part to play yesterday during that conversation that I had in the fact that it wasn't the, the failure that ultimately was the option for this guy because he was already in that failure state. He was always following. He was already following that process of knowing exactly or following the patterns of exactly knowing what he doesn't want when pressure is applied and you ask what you do want and there's confusion I think it's then to highlight potentially the A change that is required therefore does it become then the success which is the fear the actualization of achieving something that you want then it goes on to once you've achieved it then what you know if you achieve a goal an aspiration a childhood dream then what what next what happens if it's a letdown? That's okay. I know what I don't want, and I'll keep working towards all of those things. It's covered a lot in uh, Rhonda's The Secret. You know, constantly looking for what you want as opposed to don't want the law of attraction. And it was interesting because I was playing a slight game with Joseph, my son, on the way to school about noticing cars. It's only off a conversation that they had on Top Gear on Sunday where they said that the, I think the Vauxhall Astra was the most driven car in the United Kingdom. And of course when they say that you start to notice all the Vauxhall Astras on the road. That's the law of attraction taking place. That is you knowing something that you want to highlight giving the, the brain clear instructions or giving neurology self clear instructions of what you want to see what you want to acknowledge those opportunities you can utilize that in seeing what you want and the reason as i said i mentioned this today is because just spurred on from that conversation i had with the guy yesterday a random guy well, not random guy, but a random man that I had no knowledge of before. And then just applying a small amount of pressure and utilising a shift in the language actually could fundamentally have a massive change to the way that they live. So maybe try it for yourself today you've been one of those people that's been immersing yourself in all of the things that you don't want, highlighting those and then reconfirming that that's your life, perhaps just spend today or the next three days thinking about all of the things that you do want, utilising that Astra, Top Gear's Astra strategy. What do you really want? And then start to notice all of those things that come the opportunities that arise as a result. So I hope that's been helpful for this morning. I'm going to continue with these morning videos on the way to work. As I said, I've got two days now, I think, before the next 100 man journey. So there's going to be content flying out there as well. If you haven't already, you're new to my video series then please subscribe using the link below hit us up on social media let me know what you're doing what 
your journey is. But for now, peace out, be safe.